welcome back to Opal and Mint. I am Ashley and welcome to another episode of Watercolor Blooms. This is where we paint florals every single week on this channel and today, not gonna lie, it was a little bit of a struggle and a back and forth of this is awful, this is okay, this is, but that's the process, right? So we're gonna dive into this. Please forgive me. I, I still don't feel the greatest. That's okay. I just, I, I don't know when my voice will be back. So let's go ahead, turn the camera around and start painting some watercolor blooms. All right guys, so welcome to Watercolor Blooms. This episode, I got a lot going on in here. Um, this episode is, I'm excited because we're gonna be doing a little bit more than flowers, but we are doing flowers. So, so if you have not been following along, um, we're painting watercolor blooms every, every single week and I'm putting them all in my etcher sketchbook. This was last week and this week I got inspired on my way to drop my son off for school. I saw um, a full moon with a beautiful morning sky. Um, I edited some more, come on, I edited some more saturation saturation to this so I could um, have a good reference photo, but um, we're going to put a big old moon and beautiful sky and then flowers coming up. So that is the plan. All right. So for the moon, I want to mask it off so I can do a nice gradient in the sky behind it. All right. So I'm going to be using, um, drawing gum, masking fluid, latex, whatever. Um, you don't have to mask it off if you just want to paint without getting in that circle. That's totally fine. Um, I am going to get my brush wet first. It will help prevent the uh, masking fluid from sticking to the bristles and I can rinse this off right after I am done. So I don't ruin this brush, but oh. So I am just gonna paint a quick circle in my masking fluid and then I am going to go rinse my brush out. We do have to wait for this to dry before we can go on to our background. So get your circle painted and I wouldn't worry too much about getting a perfect circle. If you do want to fuss with it and draw a circle and fill it in, um, and get a perfect circle, then more power to you, but I think I'm gonna be good with that. So I'm going to go rinse my brush out, let that dry, and we'll do our background. So this is not quite dry yet, but I wanna explain what I'm gonna be doing a little bit more. So I am going to, again, let that dry. We're gonna paint that as a moon at the end, but I'm gonna just do a nice soft gradient in the background from like a bluish color, bluish purple to a pink. Um, very, very simple though. I don't want it to be super dark and take over. And then after that is dry, we're just gonna paint some flowers, very loose flowers coming up from here. And I'm inspired by a, an artist on Instagram. I'm sure she probably has a um, YouTube as well. I don't, I don't remember if I've seen any YouTube videos, but I see her reels all the time and her name is Jillian Boone. And I absolutely love her loose style. Yes, I have seen a YouTube video. Now that I see her face, I have seen some YouTube videos. Um, but I absolutely love her style of loose florals. And there was one particular one I saw recently. I don't know which one it is, but it was a loose rose. It was just so beautiful and so simple, like not over complicating. I think it was actually this video right here. Um, but we're just going to turn blobs into flowers. So I talk about this all the time about turning a color blob into a flower. And with this technique that she does, which I think is just stunning and the colors she uses are beautiful. Um, but you really do turn a blob of color into a flower with minimal, minimal detail. She just adds a little bit of darkness here and there and your mind fills in the rest and it looks like a flower and it's beautiful. So if you have not um, seen Jillian Boone, I will link her below 
um, but I absolutely love her style so much. So that's what we're gonna be doing. I'm gonna do the background. Um, we'll do the moon after, and then I'm also going to put, I just want some like loose florals coming up from the bottom. Okay, I hope that was not too much. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna start, I'm gonna take just a flat wash brush. This is a um, three quarter inch wash and I'm going to wet the entire page. I am not taping this one down this time. We're gonna go all the way to the edge and hopefully I don't get it all over my other paintings. I think I'm gonna stick paper in between. And this is going to buckle a little bit since I am not taping it down, but um, tape yours down if you would like. You can also use a binder clip, which I've used a lot in the past. I just don't have one right now on me. So I say paint however you like. Whatever works for you. You don't have to do everything the same way as tutorials that you watch. Okay, so I'm gonna water all the way up to the edge of that. And now we need to pick out, now that I have this surface pre-wet and it's sufficiently bubbled now, which I should have taped. Here's my tape. I didn't tape because I couldn't find it. It was literally sitting right next to me. Okay, so I need to figure out which colors I wanna use. Um, I think I'm gonna go in with this blue. Um, do I wanna use King's Royal or Cerulean? I think I wanna use Cerulean Blue. It's such a beautiful granulating blue. So I'm gonna get some of that and it's very soft blue. And I'm just gonna start brushing that on there. Again, I want this to remain loose. Oops, I got some red in there. Hopefully. I'm gonna go right to the edge of this. Good. Okay. Whoops. <laughs> Wasn't all the way dry and I kind of moved some of that masking fluid, but that's okay. All right, and now I need a pink, pinkish, purplish color. I think I need to cover up this paper because I'm getting wild and crazy. Um, which one, which one? I really want a light pink. I'm gonna mix my buff titanium in with some rose matter. Let's see what this looks like. Got some buff titanium, some rose matter. Just kind of lightly going in, making a very, very loose sky. And then I want this to fade to almost nothing because we're gonna put some flowers down here, but very, very light wash. Adding a little bit more of that pink coming through. Got some like pink clouds. Okay, okay. So, all right, since we are going in with a loose style for these flowers and we're literally doing blobs first, um, I'm gonna go ahead and start doing my blobs on the wet on wet, um, on the wet paper. So if your paper is like dripping wet, I wouldn't start this yet, but I think mine is just wet enough where it's, it's gonna be okay. All right, so I'm gonna take, I'm just gonna take this cat's tongue overwash uh, Neptune, Princeton Neptune one half inch. That was a mouthful, I'm sorry. And we're gonna start with some pink roses. And we want kind of a medium wash. So I'm actually going in with that same pink of Rose Matter. 
and I think this is the color I'm gonna use. So I want kind of a medium wash of that color. So I don't want it to be super, super dark, but it does need to show up. And we're just gonna put a blub here and there, wherever feels good to you. Different sizes, they can be facing different directions. Um, and I do want to note, I have actually never done this style or technique, so I don't actually know what I'm doing. We're just, we're gonna go with the flow and see what happens. I haven't actually followed one of her tutorials yet. I've just watched them, her reels on Instagram. So, so we're just, we're learning together. We will get through this and if it turns out, like I said, if it turns out bad, that's okay. All right, so we need more color. We need another color. Um, I feel like I want some yellow. So I'm gonna take some of my CAD yellow medium. We're gonna do the exact same thing. We're just gonna make some blobs of color wherever you want. Okay, I think two is all I want and those are all gonna be roses. Let's try another flower shape. I don't wanna do too many because I don't know what I am doing, but let's do one more try a different shape. So these will be roses. Um, I'm not really sure how I wanna do the leaves. I don't remember how she does them, but yeah, and we're using her as inspiration today. I love how these are even mixing. And then when they dry, we'll go in with those little moments of detail. I'm excited and nervous all at the same time. Okay, I need one more color. What other color should go with this? I feel like maybe a pinkish purple. Okay, ooh, what about Quinn Violet? Okay, I'm gonna put Quinn Violet kind of mixed in with whatever rose matter was on there. I don't know what I'm doing. Not gonna lie. Paper is starting to dry, so I'm getting harder edges, but that's fine. Um, so that one's going to be facing sideways. This one, have like an open facing one. And I feel like I need one more right here. Again, we will be turning blobs into flowers today. Let's see if we can actually make this happen. Do I want to start doing the leaves now or wait till I have, I think I need to wait because I don't know what these flowers are gonna look like at all. Let's see, I think I need to let this dry. This is where I need to practice my patience because I like to keep going, but I need to let this dry so we can take the moon off and we can start doing details. So I'm going to turn the camera off for five minutes, let this dry and we'll come right back. We're gonna start with the moon because I'm less intimidated by it. I don't know why the flowers are, I, I keep saying that it, it's fine. It's gonna be fine. Let's, let's move on to the moon. So we're gonna take our masking fluid off. And again, if you didn't use masking fluid, then you don't have to do this step. We're just gonna paint in our moon. So I'm gonna be using buff titanium and a little bitty dash of hematite genuine. Um, you could just use buff titanium and do a moon, but I think I wanna have some of the dark spots of the moon, you know? So I'm just gonna take this same brush. We're gonna go into buff titanium and I'm gonna start oops, with that little bit of paint and just kind of, there's a little bit of pink mixed in with that, but that's okay. It has a pink glow to it. Um, so I'm just gonna paint a very light wash of that on the moon and I want the whole surface to be wet because I'm going to touch in a granulating color from Daniel Smith called Hematite Genuine and that is this one I believe. So I have just a little bit of this and I want to tap it kind of into the wet paint so we can have some little crevices on our moon. All right, 
So there's our moon. Just want to have a little bit of pink on that, but there we go. All right, so there's our moon, just very casual, casual, um, rough impressionist moon. Like we don't, we don't need to be perfect about it. I'm gonna take a round brush. This is a Princeton snap size, where are you? A six. And we're, <laughs> we're gonna go into these now. So this is dry. And I am going to, again, no stress. I'm saying no stress, but I clearly sound stressed, don't I? <laughs> All right, when you do a new technique, you've got to give yourself a little bit of grace. You've got to be able to be okay with failing. So that's where we're at today. I'm gonna to take going straight into Rose Matter. And this is a fairly thick amount of this color. Let's see, I don't need this anymore. And we're gonna go with, we're gonna to try to go in with tiny little details, okay? So I just wanna do I don't know what I want to do yet. I'm just going to start painting. I don't feel like I can talk right now. She so magnificently and effortlessly does little strokes and stuff that I just, uh, I aspire to be that good at, at, being effortless and smooth and, you know what I mean? I'm sure you do. Okay. All right, so that is not anywhere near like hers, but I'm, I'm going to, I think, leave that one alone for a moment. Don't you love it when I say I'm gonna leave something alone and then I keep going? Okay, I wanna, I wanna leave that alone. Okay, let's move on to another one. I'm gonna go down here. I think I want my middle to be here. Okay. I'm just gonna, I think the key here is also having a nice thick consistency of paint and getting different thicknesses of strokes in here. Okay. Trying to leave some of it to the imagination, trying to, um, let's see here, let's get this one over here. Okay. I feel like something that would help add a, just a tiny bit more dimension to these is having a slightly another different shade of pink in there. Um, so I think what I wanna do is I'm actually gonna go into my Opera Rose, this is very, very vibrant pink. And I'm gonna just think, I <laughs> think I'm gonna add just a little bit of that in between some of those lines. I don't know if this is helping or hurting, but we're kind of just playing around today and seeing, experimenting, if you will. And perhaps I will uh, go and actually follow one of her tutorials after this. Because <laughs> um, I really do just love her style of painting. Again, I will be linking her in the description below. All right, let's move on to the yellow one. So I'm gonna take my CAD yellow. Again, I'm getting a fairly thick consistency here. And I just wanna go around some little strokes, some Thicker, bigger, wider, longer, <laughs> all the things. I'm trying to be chaotic. It's 
sometimes actually really hard to go um, randomly. Like it feels harder to do that. I don't know why. Okay, that one's getting a little bit too overdone. Let's stop. Okay, I want my center to be higher here. Okay. All right. I hope that y'all are trying this along with me today. Um, okay. I'm not like in love with this, but I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Let's see here. Let me look at let me look at my inspiration again here. She just does such a good job at that. Yeah, there's definitely different variations of color and depth in there. I think that's another thing that's gonna help. I'm using one color. Okay, so I'm gonna take um what are you? New Gamboge. So I'm gonna take another yellow and we're just gonna add in a little bit of a darker yellow here and there. Stop getting so specific with it, Ashley. <laughs> okay, does that help? I don't know. I feel like I need to loosen up even more, but okay, so taking my yellow. Okay, all right, all right. And then I feel like I need one more even darker. So I'm gonna take quinacridone gold. And while that's still wet, actually, kind of placing some of that in there as well. All right, there are my yellow ones. Let's go back to the purple, I mean the pink ones. Um, and I'm gonna take actually a purple. So I'm taking Rose of Ultramarine and I just wanna add in some darker moments in here with this. And hopefully that will help bring out this flower as well. And this is what it's like trying a new style, especially when you're um, not following a tutorial and you're just kind of going by, flying by the seat of your pants like I am. Um, this is like problem solving and trying to figure out what you're doing wrong I feel like this is helpful to um, kind of see the process. And again, we might come back and do this in a, week, in a few weeks and try again in this kind of very loose, minimal style that she does. I think I'm being too much with it. Like I'm putting way too much in mine. Um, so yeah, okay, let's go into these. Let's see if I can be minimal with these. I think for these, I'm going to take my quinacridone violet and I'm going to try to just put in a little bit of detail. Okay.
Okay. And moving on to this one. Okay. Again, I am trying to just put in a small amount. I don't know how I feel, but that's okay. Let's let's get some let's put some leaves in here, and maybe this will help. Um, so I think I'm gonna stick with this brush, and let's go in with oh, what kind of green? I feel like I want to use Cascade Green. I haven't used that in a while, so let's get some Cascade. Um, okay, so first I want to. Kind of connect the side facing flower here and let's get some leaves happening in here. I'm just going to fill in some green around some of these. I don't know why, but I just felt like it. So. I'm not like super happy with this painting, but that's okay. Um, let's mix in just one other color of green because I feel like, feel like we need a little bit more dimension to our green. So I'm going to mix some sap green into the cascade green and maybe just a touch of buff titanium. There we go. I think this brush is something I'm not liking to put my flat, my leaves. So I'm going to go back to the cat's tongue, kind of get a little bit looser. Okay, okay. I think when I look at it overall, I don't hate it, but it's definitely not the exact style that I was aiming for. Like, oh, she just, she leaves such big empty spaces and I'm like, how, how do you do that and not freak out? <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it. So I think I'm gonna have to practice her style some because I just, I find it so beautiful and just like engaging. I just adore her painting, but I think that's probably where I want to leave it. Um, I feel like the moon needs just a touch more color. So I'm going to take some more buff titanium. All right. So I think that's going to wrap up this one. I, I love experimenting and playing. And again, you're not going to learn. You're not going to grow if you're not getting out of your comfort zone. So I, I hope this encourages you to continue to continue trying new styles, trying things that are scary, um, because that's how we learn and you, you aren't going to grow if you're not trying new things. So it's okay. You can mess up with me. We can learn and grow together, but I think that is going to wrap up this video. 
If you did enjoy this episode of Watercolor Blooms, I hope you will give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see our future videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and we will see you guys next time. Bye. Okay, hopefully this can make video and it's okay and everything is awesome. I'm exhausted, but I'm okay. Thumbnail. Because we keep forgetting to do thumbnails for some strange reason. I, yeah, I don't know why. But... I've only been doing this for a year. Or eight. I was like... That's fine. You gotta be quiet though. Um, don't talk to yourself right now because the microphone will pick it up, okay? You can make faces all you want. Okay. Ready?